Hello, Mama here. Um, I have a craft to share. Um, I make popsicle stick puppets with my daughter. She absolutely loves them. She does play with them. I'll show you what they look like when they're done. I've got some different ones. I've got my train all done in a, this is a different color, but this is the train when it's all completed. Super cute. You can play with it. And then, okay, let's see. I've got my cop car that my daughter's been playing with. <laughs> She loves these. Um, here's the dog. Okay, so these are super duper cute. Those are just a couple of them. All right, so this is the kit that it, as it comes, I make the kits. I have a Patreon account, patreon.com, and if you become a Patreon, uh, patron of um, of me on that website what happens is you will be rewarded I will send kits to you for you and your kids and this is how it comes so it comes with a popsicle stick in it the only thing you'll need is some glue and if you want some glitter or something like that all right, so these are all the pieces. Now you can do this in construction paper, you can do this with cardstock, you can do this with whatever paper you want if you want to design your own. This is just construction paper. Okay, I'm just going to set up my pieces first. I always like to set up my pieces first and lay it out, and then I start gluing everything together. That's just my, my process. Okay, and then these little pieces. Oh, there. Okay. So, these are all my pieces for my train. Now, um, this is just for your imagination for you and your children. Um, or if you have nieces, nephews, grandchildren, um, if you babysit, um, this is a, you know, a really fun thing to do. Um, if you're a teacher, um, this is also, you know, a really fun thing, a really fun idea to do for teachers. Um, this is great if when your kindergartner starts math and they start matching things. Um, if you have a picture or one, an example that you did and they have to try to figure out where all the pieces go, that's, you know, pretty perfect. Um, so it's a great little exercise. It's like kind of like a little puzzle. Um, my daughter loves doing these. In the in the uh, window, you can put a little person. You can put Sir Topham hat. Okay. Um, you can get rid of the light and the grill. You can put a little face in there. I'm just going to start gluing. You can put a little face on there. And if it's blue, it could be... Uh, Thomas and then if it's um, if it's a red it could be James you could do um, this could just be one project or you could do a whole bunch of them and you could do a, you know a whole cast of characters and do a puppet show so this could be you know one big project or one little one you decide.
And the cool thing about these is that you can um, put glitter on them. You can do so many different things with these. It's insane. It's pretty much your... Um, you're held back by your imagination, basically. And the, the good thing about doing crafts with children is that it gives you access to talk to them when they're all interested in the glitter oops, and the glue. Um, they're more interested in that and they'll answer your questions and they'll answer them truthfully and everything, but they'll answer them really, really quickly. And um, so that they don't, they don't need to worry about it anymore, so that they can get back to their glitter and stuff. And um, so it gives you kind of a quick peek into their little world and what's in their heads. If you kind of, if you have something specific you want to talk to them about and you kind of want to broach the subject, like for example, if you want to talk to your child about um, being safe, um, you can do the cop car. I have a cop car that um, I think, I, I believe I showed it. Um, and that gives you access to talk to your children about different things in a very fun way. Um, and then it also incorporates the different math things that I was talking about as well. So it's many different things all rolled in one and it's also fun. You can do it in a very casual, fun way. Um, and that's a good thing because children love those sorts of things and they'll listen to those sorts of things. I think sometimes um, as parents we struggle, we get into the nitty gritty and the day to day and sometimes we forget that we need to be fun too. I know I do. <laughs> so it's a good reminder to need to be fun. You can do um, you can do number trains. You can have um, a bunch of different trains and do the different numbers. One, two, three, A, B, C. And the cool thing about doing stuff like this with your children is that you're building um, art skills with them that they're going to need for school. Um, we don't think about children needing art skills for school, but they actually do. They are going to need it for projects in school all over the place. Um, I actually, in school, didn't always do quite that well in art and um, now as an adult I do really well but then I, I didn't always do that great so now that I'm a parent I um, spend extra time in those certain things that I wished I had done well in in school And it's, it's always fun to show children how, um, you know, these are just X's and O's, and yet they come together to make the wheels and the hubcaps and stuff. So um, that's really neat to show children how those come together, too. 
just regular shapes come together to make more complicated things. And that's really neat to see how that comes together for children. That's really neat to see how that comes together for me. <laughs> As an adult, even. The cool thing is you could, you might even get um, your children to uh, tell you a story about um, what they're making. Which would be cool. Get their little minds going, their imaginations at work. You know? Some of the wheel was not totally on the whole thing. Some of the wheels off it. Now it is time to add some glitter. So we're gonna cap our glue. And I'm going to go get some glitter. see. How about some red? Just some red. It's almost looking like a like a Christmas tree. <laughs> These are great because you can do whatever you want with them. Okay, that's cool. I'm going to add just a little bit of detail to the steam. This is a, I decided that my trains were steam trains because I had, um, I had gray smoke on the cop car. So I decided this was going to be a steam train just to be different from the cop car. So this is my um, artist loft marker. It doesn't have a ton of smell for a permanent marker, which is much better than the Sharpies. Um, the great thing about using permanent markers in your art is that when you use permanent marker and you use another marker, like say your child comes behind you and uses their marker, like a crazy art or a Crayola marker against it, the permanent marker is not going to run. It's not going to do anything, which is so great. The other thing is if you want to paint against it or whatever, it's also not going to run. So that's also great. It's also acid free. It's just going to, it's going to last. So no matter what you're doing, it's gonna, it's gonna stay. It's gonna stay pretty well. Yeah, just a little bit of 
folds in the steam. There. And the only thing left to do is some liquid glue for putting the stick on. And you can name these guys. Your children can name them. They can um, think of stories for them. And there you go. Choo 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 cho